let's consider the domain of a cubic function among different type of questions seen in the exam in domain and range functions to solve this problem let's consider some basic rules zero is not allowed at the denominator of a function for a square root negative is not allowed both at the numerator or the denominator however for a cubic function minus is allowed inside a cube root with these rules in mind and because of the presence of the cube root, we are trying to avoid not getting zero at the denominator we are not consigned with the minus in mathematics the square root of minus 8 tends to infinity however the cube root of minus 8 is equal to minus 2 the 3 here means there are 3 numbers when multiplied we give you minus 8 and that number is minus 2 because if we multiply minus 2 3 times we are going to get minus 8 however this means there are two numbers when multiplied will give us minus 8 such number does not exist in conclusion whenever there is a cube root you are not consigned about getting a negative your consign is the denominator for a square root where you have an existing numerator and denominator both can be a problem but not for a cube root solving for the denominator the expression must not be equal to zero if this function must continue hence x must not be equal to 3 whenever we have 3 here we are going to have 3 minus 3 which is 0 for this function to continue our answer will be all real numbers will be accepted except 3 and this has been represented in a set notation this answer can also be represented in interval notation which equally means all real numbers can be accepted for s except 3 and we use union to join the statement together this is our final answer this is equally our answer both are the same have the same meaning you can check out other type of questions seen in the exam in domain and range functions and other topics in precalculus to locate and find other videos follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video